I don't know about you, but I can see a big difference even right now while it's wet. But does finger coiling work on every hair type? What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Yamane Bromel and we're going to be doing a styling challenge today. A side-by-side comparison of finger coiling and finger rolling. What does it all mean? Well, these are just two different styling techniques that we can use to define and enhance our curl patterns. Now, if you have never seen either of these techniques performed on one's head, then keep on watching. I'll be giving you a demo. I'm also going to be timing the whole process to see how long each technique takes. And by the end of it, we'll ultimately compare the definition and the results, which technique is gonna be right for you and see how long that definition lasts with a check-in in a few days for you that will be the end of this video so without further ado let's get to it the first thing that you need to know when doing these techniques on your hair is that they are a form of manipulation which means you want to make sure that you are being very gentle on your hair because we don't want to create any kind of breakage or damage to the structure of your hair. And to do this, we prep our hair, maybe do a little deep conditioning, make sure you've got some protein and moisture balance in your hair to make sure that our hair is as healthy as it could be. However, what's great about both of these techniques is that they do help to enhance any damaged and lacking curl patterns. So if you are someone that struggles with limp curls or you have a damaged curl pattern, these techniques are really gonna help you to get a little bit more of that definition that you're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and start, and I'm gonna start with the finger coiling technique because it is my personal favorite, and I am, in fact, a pro at it. It's just a go-to. It's a no-fail for me. I'm gonna first take a section of my hair, and we're going to begin. And one more thing, just before I set my stopwatch, I did prep my hair with my products already. It is very important that, one, your hair is moisturized it is wet throughout the process there's every time that my fingers are not gliding effortlessly then i will replenish my hair with some extra product or water whatever feels needed but pro tip i like to keep my product on my hands kind of in my knuckles throughout my process now, now my hands are dirty to touch my phone but um timer timer begins now I'm not going to talk through this process. We'll voice over it. So that way I don't talk out the timer. And you know I had to bring Mel back on the mic for this one for an excuse to bring back the mic. And also so I could describe exactly what we're seeing here together. So on that note, this process, actually both processes, take practice. You can see I am working through this section without even looking because this is very much a feeling. When I am finger coiling my hair, I could do it with my eyes closed, I'm feeling at the root of each section. You can see I grab from the root and I'm grabbing where the curls are clumping together. And you can see this when the hair is brushed from root to tip, the hair starts to separate where it wants to naturally clump. I like to call that a little curl family and we like to keep these families together because when you grab too many families or too many curls clumped together in too big of a section, this is gonna give you this really kind of sausagey looking curl instead of more individual curl definition. Of course, you can always go ahead and declump this when the hair is dry, but that does cause a little bit more frizz. So while the hair is wet, I always recommend to separate each curl family and twirl that along your finger. Again, there should always be slip and your finger should not be getting caught. If your finger is getting caught, it's because you are not moving your finger as you're going along the section. And because it's helpful for me, and especially for longer hairs, in one hand, I'm always holding my section. And then with my dominant finger coiling hand, I am grabbing the little curl families and twirling them along my finger. You want to follow through with the curl and move your finger downwards so that the curl can coil downwards, almost like spiral stairs. Yes, imagine your finger is going down a long flight of spiral stairs down possibly a haunted house. Speaking of haunted, you know who haunts me? Purple Pat. Especially finger coils done on her hair. On wave your hair that is more easily weighed down, this twirl pull down situation with the finger coil might pull the curl out too much. It may be spirally, but it might not have the bounce that you want 
simply because of the action of finger coiling as you are pulling down on the section. But on curlier hair types where there is a lot more bounce and a lot more shrinkage, the hair will bounce back much easier or even all on its own. In fact, this technique can even be used to help elongate the curls if you are looking for more of a defined and controlled curly hairstyle. Now let's just take a moment to appreciate all of the angles here. I was spinning and turning and angling and breaking my back to really try to demonstrate to you how to finger coil. And yes, this was painful. Get no breaks. My arms are starting to hurt, but there's no time to pause. And again, right here on my very last section, you can see when I'm pulling the strands straight out from my head, I can see where the curls are starting to clump, where they're naturally gathering together, those curl families. And that's what I'm individually piecing out to curl, coiling it along my finger. Isn't it magical? How does she do it? Time. Stop. Collaborate and listen. 15 minutes and 24 seconds. Put your hands up if your arms hurt. Put all them limbs up. Take a good look here. Finger coiling on the brown side. I did wear this shirt just for you. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take a brief intermission and then we'll move on to the finger rolling. So as I demonstrated, with finger coiling, because you're curling out and away from the head, this pulling motion might stretch out your roots a little bit more, which is why finger rolling may be a better technique for looser curl types if you have more of a wavy hair type. So the same principles apply. You wanna make sure you've prepped your hair with your styling products. It's really beneficial, especially if your hair is more on the wavy side. Use a product that also gives you some hold if that's something that you need. So using like a liquid gel is a great option during the styling process after you already apply your cream, of course. We do cream and then gel if you're doing both. Or if your curl cream is moisturizing and provides hold, it's a win-win for you. Now back to the techniques. We're going to go ahead and I'm gonna create my first section. I'm gonna do a quick slow-mo before I go ahead and, and start the timer because this is something we haven't seen on this channel before. So I've never really described this technique to you. So I just wiped the product off my hand. I was distracted. You wanna take your section. And again, if you're doing this technique, you probably have wavier hair, which means you're also going to be taking bigger sections for more of a barrel curl effect. So with this technique, instead of from the top down, we wanna smooth out the hair, make sure there's no frizz and flyaways. And then from here, you're gonna start rolling it up to your head. And then you can very gently just let that release, like so. We'll let that curl simmer and we're gonna set the timer because uh, again, I've never done this to my full head, but I do think that this might take a little bit longer. Maybe not. Maybe, you know what, let's just get to it. And making my way around up my fingers to my scalp and I wind down. Do not get discouraged when you are first finger rolling or finger coiling. Again, practice makes perfect. These techniques aren't necessarily easy, but they do, they do pay off. And what's cool about this technique is you can even do more fingers when doing the rolling technique. On that note of adding more fingers, if you have a bigger curl, that's when I would add more fingers. I don't know if that was clear. For example, because I have small tight curls, I am doing the one finger. If I had bigger curls, maybe on the 2C to 3A size, you could definitely get away with like a, the, the two finger roll. But if you've got really big curls, really loose waves, then you can add the three. If you've got tight coils, Maybe just use your pinky. That's probably difficult. This technique is used a lot when setting hot iron curls or roller curls. It's a very versatile technique that doesn't, oh, started finger coiling. See what happened, um, stop talking. It's a very versatile technique that can be done even on hair that isn't naturally curly. And for that technique, if you do decide to pin the hair up, you can see how I'm doing that on purple pat. You can expect much bouncier curls if you do pin it up because of course it is setting the hair in that rolled up, scrunched up, clipped up place, which makes this technique great to use if you have stubborn areas around your face or even just damaged curls throughout your hair that need a little extra extra, you can always pin them up and you can remove the clips while the hair is still damp so that they still kind of settle and look natural. If you remove them when the hair is completely dry like I did with Pat, 
then you can see that there's going to be a lot of volume where those clips were, but if you don't do that to the whole head, then it might not look very even. And just to reiterate, you can see I'm constantly keeping my hands lubricated with the styling product that I'm using to make sure that there is always good slip and every curl gets evenly styled. And just to make note, after rolling up the strand on your finger, when you are unwinding, unlike finger coiling, you're not pulling down. You want to be really gentle so you don't pull out and stretch out that curl to maintain that bounce. Timer! Wait! I can't see! Did I get every curl? Stop it! 18 minutes and 34 seconds. That was only three minutes longer. Only! Only! Unless I really want to start training for a curl-a-thon, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. I don't know. However, the timing was pretty comparable and your timing at home could be very different as well. So officially, here are the wet results. I don't know about you, but I can see a big difference even right now while it's wet. So I'll be back when it is dry and then we'll really be able to compare. Be right back. All right, and we are back. And small, it's a little misshapen. So I haven't manipulated the hair at all. This is just completely dried. I wanted to fluff it with you on camera. So what I'm going to try to do is get some volume in here. I'm going to take my oil serum like I always do and break up the cast because it's a little bit crunchy from my styling product. Now we do this with an oil to prevent there being any static as we are separating our dry hair with our dry hands. This helps to kind of seal everything together as well as restore some of that softness back into the curls. Now that we've fluffed all that out, it's still small, but it's only day one, I'm sure. Over the next few days when we come in for check-ins, it'll continue to get bigger. But sound off in the comments below what you think the biggest difference between finger rolling and the finger coiling is. I think for me, one of the clearest differences is the fact that finger rolling created a more uniform look. With the finger rolling, I was taking bigger sections, which is why a lot more hair clumped together. They all have the same amount of chunk and girth to them. I feel like a doll. This feels like doll hair. But on the finger coiling side, because I am curling almost each individual curl as I feel it, I was taking smaller sections because I have a smaller curl. I got a result that gave me really defined curls while still giving me some separation. The chunks are smaller, they look a little bit thinner, and they're also not clumping all together. And I can't even believe I'm saying this, but the finger coiling side almost gave a more organic look to the curls, in my opinion. Like they still look perfect, but because they're a little bit more staggered, a little bit more customized to my curl, they do look more natural, whereas in other comparisons we've done, like the finger coiling to the Denman brush, this gave that perfectly perfect curl that maybe isn't always desired, you know, when you want a more natural kind of organic looking result. But on that note, let's see how these do in a couple days. We'll see you in just a few. Alright, so I am back with an update and um, I just can't wait. I just can't wait anymore. I have waited for this hair to grow. She just doesn't. Look, it may be super defined, but it's just not enough volume for me and mine. It's just too small. I feel so small. So let me just fill you in really quickly. I basically have not touched my hair or fluffed it too much besides in and at the root, but I haven't done any more separating of the curls from when we last saw each other, which was a couple days ago. I put the same shirt on. No, I was not gonna bring out a whole new shirt for this. So now as we look at my hair after a couple days, it really hasn't changed much. Once my hair dried, the curls looked pretty similar on both sides. Nothing, nothing too drastic, nothing too crazy. You can really see that on both sides, the curls had a major tendency to clump all together. And honestly, this is a little disappointing. I mean, what this tells me is that I can just finger coil and not have to do the whole finger rolling situation on my hair and still get the good old tried and true results that I want. But I know that the finger roll result would be fabulous on wavy hair, as I mentioned in the voiceover, and I wanted to show you just that. So remember, Pat, 
You can see on her wavier curly hair pattern, there is much more bounce on the finger rolling side, especially if you wanted to put a little pin in it to really set those curls with some bounce and to get more volume in the roots. In comparison to the finger coiling side, and you can see it's a little straighter at the root, or at least there's not as much volume, and the curl looks more pulled. So now you know, depending on the results you are looking for, these are just a couple techniques that you can use to define your curls at home if you got the time, and um, if you don't mind not having much volume. But at this point, I think I'm gonna have to close off this video by breaking up these curls. I think for many of you at home, it may also be therapeutic to watch me fluff this out because many people would consider this look undone until you really fluff out the curls so we're just going to do just that who needed to see that remember that there is no right or wrong way to styling your hair as long as you get the end result that you're looking for then you did it so if you haven't already and you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we put out videos like this each and every texture tuesday and sometimes more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you found this video helpful and if you did and you try out these techniques, then please tag me because I'd love to see your results and see which one works better for you, finger rolling or finger coiling. And on that note, I will see you on Instagram, TikTok, and back here on YouTube next Tuesday. Peace. <laughs> What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a styling challenge. What am I, a news broadcaster? No thank you. Okay. Okay. Do I look cute? I don't know why. I feel like my bags are so evident today. They're designer anyway. Or my fingers are not gliding effortless. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. Lee! What was I saying? <laughs> I feel like I already described what to do with the finger rolling. Put all them limbs up. Just catch the bottom of my feet. Who needs a pedicure? That's me. So what do I do here now? I am going to serenade you. Do -do yeah! Always carry backup. Do -do. No, 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 no. Mel, don't distract them. No, 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 no. When it was wet, looked drastically more different, but post fluff, I look normal. No, please watch this. No, 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 no. Look normal. What? If you know me, you know I'm actually the farthest thing from normal. Oh, why am I like this? I don't even know what normal is. I'm hungry. I'm too hungry to do this. This is my friend, Purple Pat. She's actually got this little electric blue moment happening in here. We've been a little bored at home here. She's talented, and that's a package. I'm gonna get the door while you watch the roll. Oh, I hope it's something for me and not my family. Good night. Yeah? Oh, good, I'm starving. Gotta go eat. Peace.